Just take a look around. These are the tents that parents and community members have been camping out in since Wednesday when Parker Elementary officially closed. Today, they're reopening the school on their own, sending a strong message to the district. They aren't going anywhere. When I say people, you say power. People. Power! Oakland Unified says Parker Elementary is closed, but school is back in session. This is a vision that's coming true. Classes look a lot different with around 20 kids attending and volunteers acting as teachers. Parents say they're doing what they have to to keep their kids safe. This is a very unsafe part of the city. Life is very fast over here and when you find small pockets where community is close, this is how we shelter our kids. For months, as Lena Tambu, mom of two Parker students, has been protesting the closure of Parker and other OUSD schools with dozens of parents, students, and teachers. We need this school because the other schools are like farther away, which is a more dangerous walk. Despite trespassing warnings, community members are camping at the school. They say the plan is to continue classes taught by parents, students, and community members. So what exactly is in their lesson plan? We have STEM science class, we have history and ESL. So full service summer school. Parker is one of dozens of schools the district plans to close or merge over the next two years. Oakland Unified officials have said it's necessary to address declining enrollment and budget barriers. Today, the district issued a statement saying in part, we recognize that some individuals are upset at the closure of Parker. We would ask that they choose a different means of protest, one that doesn't disrupt the normal year-end procedures of staff and the need to close out the year. Parents say the district closure plan disproportionately affects students of color and is demanding the board reverse its decision. And many say they plan to continue to live and work in the school until changes are made. A school stalemate the group is not giving up on. If they're not going to do right by our children, then we're going to step up and do it ourselves. And they really can't stop us, um, so they need to just stop trying. In Oakland, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.